Hello. Today I received some happy mail. I wanted to show you what I do with almost every happy mail that I receive, even with the standard envelopes. Um, so the process, what I do, and how do I save all the bits that I like. Um, this is the envelope that uh, it came. Uh, my happy mail came in. Inside of the envelope, there was. Um, a message and I really like this person's writing so usually the people say what they're sending so that means the name of the tag and from who it is here this message it was a bit longer <laughs> I'll show you what's missing um, it, it said hello and my name and then here is your clear stamp tag hope you like it uh, their name and name of the group and po please post when received so this message actually included like something nice on the bottom and the person stamped um, a snail to the bottom and I really like those I cut this out and I cut this out handwriting is very nice and I thought I could just uh, take the stuff out and here is the hello I'm gonna use all the words in my um, word embellishments and enjoy and hope let me just put all the words that I put inside okay so hello hope enjoy snail mail like it those that I cut out I don't mind that there is a line um, between the word um, I like it it looks um, different I don't do that for every um, memo note um, some people don't have very pretty writing or um, they don't put anything interesting on the note so in this case this was very useful to me at least so I got these things out of one note um, I'm gonna save all of this and here we have an envelope and I love to take stickers off because <laughs> usually people that put stickers on they are very nice and I can use them in ADCs or anything like I want I can put it back on other envelopes oh this strip is from um, it's just waxy side and non waxy side. Um, you can get it off uh, envelopes, strips, or um, you can actually use parchment paper. I do have a um, my envelope full of those um, bits that they have a non stick surface on. Uh, from letters, from more letters, from, um, how do you say that? Uh, this is a um, contact paper. But I always try to see if the sticky of the sticker is gonna hold. This paper doesn't hold it so well. But on this one, that it isn't that glossy, it holds very good. You know and I try to check those because it happened to me that I had a lot of stickers on and they just fell off because it's too waxy um, just this is just a note so you'll know why your stickers don't um, actually uh, stay on the paper um, here I have washi tape which I adore I uh, love the colors I don't care that it's very um, just two strips. I am going to try to save it. Let's see how that's gonna go. Oh yeah. A little bit of envelope, but... Yes. And I could get a whole strip. I'm trying to see where I'm gonna put it on. Here I have a playing card from Black Peter. 
Um, it's actually rules of the game, and I always try to take the um, the cards with rules out from the deck because this is in um, German and this is in um, Croatian, so I don't need those. Uh, I need it only in my language or in English, so I'm going to use this to put my safe washi on. Oh, this wash is beautiful. Okay, and another one. Let's try to put this one down. And usually they are always going like wash is always going down very nicely. If you if if the person that's smelling this to me is not um, gluing it down with uh, white glue or something like that. And I do use this washi in um, ADCs or uh, other embellishments that I do. So this envelope is really nice though. Um, I'll think about what I'm going to do with flowers. Maybe I'm going to fussy cut them. Uh, and the front, it's my dress on, which I very much like. I will take the stickers off, the hearts, I will save the um, postage stamps because I collect them. Um, I have a huge collection of them. <laughs> and I am going to fussy cut my address out so I can actually put it on some other envelope that I'm sending out. Um, this should be a bigger envelope though, because the my address is bigger and I am going to cut the uh, snail out too yeah fussy cutting this flowers that was just a quick tip how do you use all the mail that you receive even the small bits so if I'm not going to do it like right now the word embellishments I would actually put it into a um, envelope that I have full of uh, letters and cutouts with wording um, yeah, I would put it inside, but I was thinking I should try to actually make a words embellishment. Let me see how this is gonna go right now, because I am not, I am really not prepared at all. Um, I have some, let me put these two aside. I have some um, painted paper, uh, these I think are watercolors, I'm not sure, but I think they are, because um, I do the techniques with other stuff too, and I am not always sure <laughs> which technique I use, but I think I'm going to use this part. So let me just... Um, let me just take off these parts. I think I have it somewhere here too. Um, other colors, but have no clue where. I have a mess. Okay, so um, the ones with with strip with the so the words with the. Um, horizontal line I would like to put it somewhere where it's pink I think I should edge everything okay so I am going to use my watercolors for edging let's go with pink let's see the hope is going to be pink oh. I like the uh, control that you have with this wedges you can be as light as you want or messy as you want. It's really um, depends on your preference. I'm going to do the top as well. Here. Okay, so let me just see how I want the words to be. Maybe I should do it like this. I am too lazy today to cut with scissors. Uh, 
add it a little bit more. I think I need more water. Small word is ready. And enjoy is gonna be pink too, I think. I think I don't really need much to entertain myself and to find new ways how to uh, make stuff. My mind is always like on the bay watching um, where I'm gonna find something new to do. Because I love thinking outside the box. Okay, a little bit of glue. Please do check my Facebook group, Emma Outside the Box. I have some free printables there and uh, you can actually upload your um, projects that you did with my tutorials or uh, that you got an idea um, using my tutorials. I would love to see it, to see all of your stuff that you do, um, really. I'm open to it and uh, it's always fun to to give people feedback and motivation to um, to craft more, not less. And I really love when people that never crafted before try it because they have no limitations. They, you know, they don't limit. They don't limit themselves like we do. We're we're going like, oh my god, I don't like this because um, I don't like the colors that doesn't go together or uh, it looks um, childish. We shouldn't be thinking like that because I think that we shouldn't just critic ourselves to to uh, to the point that we are too scared to do anything to try new things. Um, or to be too scared to actually ruin your supplies. I want everyone to enjoy doing what they love. Um, and if they cannot find the joy in it, then uh, they should try something else. They shouldn't force it. Just because, I don't know, have so many stuff. If they have bought a lot of equipments and um, and supplies I think I'm gonna just ah, dab it a little bit wanted to give it some color now it's too much I think oh well we we'll go with it please don't be afraid to do anything if you think how you would make something like envelopes, something simple or even something that it's not so simple. Just do it. See what you like. See how you like the process or th your thinking. Just go with it. I am serious about it. I've been talking to so many people lately. Um, they're afraid of doing stuff and um, they limit their themselves. You shouldn't do that. So please guys, stop limiting yourself. Just do stuff. Show it around. Get some motivation out of it. Um, get your stress out. Like, you know. <laughs> oh my god, I really adore these. Oh my god, they look so cute. I will pose the up close picture because I don't know if you can see this but they are looking very very nice um, let's just use this till the end oh this goes right here just let's go with the purple don't get me wrong I do have distress inks but I don't use them that much that my watercolors they are expensive. I think they are um, overrated. People think that if they don't have them, they cannot do crafts. They cannot uh, make stuff look nice. 
but boy, they're wrong. <laughs> Mm, more to the left, please. No, no, don't stack down. Okay. So I have eight distress inks, but I only have the um, vintage colors. Because I thought I'm going to uh, just start doing vintage stuff when I buy them. But... <laughs> My inspiration was not working like that. Um, so I have them. I am not using them very often. Um, maybe I will, but um, the thing that I don't like with them, because they are very, they are kind of expensive. The problem is that they are not permanent, which I very much dislike. I have to cut this. Because it's not straight. Why wouldn't I just use watercolors if they give me the same or even better effect? And I don't need to buy anything. This set... Sponges. This set cost me three bucks maybe. Um, or two and a half. They're really, really cheap. And, you know, you get variety of colors. You can mix them if you want to. Just cheap and sponges you can get online on aliexpress for what two dollars twenty or something so they're really cheap and uh, i am all for cheap crafting so my words i was thinking to actually color the snail in a little bit So I'm going to take a picture and post it right here. And I hope you like this video and you're gonna give it a try at least. Um, if you're in a Facebook group, I know you can actually get a lot of mail. So uh, you can even use others' writing and others' work to incorporate it with yours and recycle because the key here is always recycling stuff i very much like it and i'm going to keep doing it because i get new writings i get new embellishments for my projects and it's very simple so this is everything for recycling happy mail for now at least um, if I get more ideas, I will definitely let you know. So try this out and let me know how it went. If you have any questions, let me know. Thumbs up if you like my video and happy crafting. Bye-bye.